Hey there, what is going on? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these really satisfying and smooth, almost smooth. Uh, after, I, after you basically expand, it's gonna be good. So, uh, but right now in the demo version, it's, it's uh, you know, it is how it is. But I'm gonna show you how to make these and achieve these smooth circles. And I don't know what are these, but uh, they're abstract. They feel good, they look blah, they look good, so yeah. Before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. So let's jump in. I'm gonna create a new artboard, hopefully somewhere around these areas. I, I won't delete all the stuff, I'm just gonna, you know, separate this project from the rest. Uh, okay. Okay, first thing, make sure you're on the stroke and you don't have any feel. Right now I'm on the, on the fill and there's no and there's no stroke so I'm just gonna click on the swap. In your case like let's say you got a color on the stroke or you know you just click on none here if you're on the uh, uh, fill. And just click on the fill, click none and click on the stroke and select the stroke, select the color, I selected the black color, white and whatever you want. The main idea is to be on the stroke only. Okay select the ellipse tool the rectangle tool is usually on the top, so select the ellipse tool. Press and hold Shift plus Alt and create your first circle. From here, we're gonna add some more stroke. The stroke is right here. If you don't have the stroke, go to Windows and select Stroke. <clears throat> and increase the weight of the stroke. Thinking to increase it to 8. 8 is pretty good and select the profile folder for the stroke so it's right here this category we're going to select the width profile number one which looks like this and there you there you have it now we're going to do the same thing as we did in, in previous videos i'm gonna you know show you those later in the end of the video so you're gonna go to the effect select distort and transform transform click previews increase the copies I'm gonna increase it first. It's important to increase now the copies before you do you do the magic. That's very important because afterwards you won't be able to do this stuff. And just to decrease the horizontal and vertical. <clears throat> For me, it's like 91. For you, you can select different uh, proportions because you know on different sides uh, you're gonna have different effects and different results. You also could take that in consideration, it's very important. Then go to the angle and just rotate this. Uh, this is not a donut. Actually, I'm gonna decrease the copies. So I'm gonna remove some. But it, it, it also looks better if it's not a donut. I don't know. Thinking to decrease, I mean, increase this. Basically, you can experiment a lot. If you add more, you know, the this this basically goes on and on. Now look how good this looks. Looks pretty badass. Uh, I, I was also thinking to do another copy of this and uh, let me check something else. Um, I'm gonna go back to the options. So if you want to go back to the options to do the same thing again, uh, just go here on the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, it's always in the windows. Everything is located in the windows. It's right here. Select it. It's gonna appear, and here is gonna show you all the effects you you be using, and you can go back and edit those effects. Right now, I want I, I want to edit the transform, so I go back, and um, I need to increase these to 93 uh, it kind of looks pretty wild um, still thinking to add 0.5 let me try this way 0.5 i don't know or decrease it to three snap I think point one because I just only want them to touch each other like the lines because right now they uh, you know before that it didn't really did it so I gonna mix a little bit yeah this should be good this should be good I'm gonna press ok yeah I'm gonna delete this one and make another copy here with this 
I was thinking to do something and I'm gonna go to a object, expand and now if you go to the object, object and expand it expands and you basically can't uh, re-edit, re-customize it so I just want to go to unite and then divide right click on group and uh, just paint everything in black I'm gonna remove this and just see what's the interior of this whole thing oh we still got these separated it's pretty good so anyways if you don't have the pathfinder just go to windows and select the pathfinder it's right here in case you want to try it out this is the uh, whoa it didn't uh what if i scale this up because right now it's showing some errors there i'm gonna group them yeah right now yeah the errors are disappearing like, like there are no errors anymore so this this stuff is like uh it shows some, some error but they're not real uh only you know uh, like this is how adobe illustrator shows it but uh there is nothing bad in there so anyways uh how you can see i just reversed the rotation of it because i deleted the some of the parts so this is how it looks in negative anyways i'm gonna do another modification on this this one because i like this form and i'm gonna go i'm gonna do the zigzag thing actually go to effects distort and transform then zigzag whoa snap it i didn't knew about this one i didn't knew about this is going to come um okay let me so this is basically like a water lily man i'm pretty much pretty surprised on this result um okay i'm gonna click okay because this is just a test and uh, i just discovered this stuff and i just want to know some of the things in here i'm gonna decrease whoa so this is pretty wild this is pretty wild i gotta admit that i gotta admit that uh i gotta make these disappear actually yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go back here, transform, and um, the rotation. The rotation is uh, problematic. So, uh, yeah, 27. I'm going, going to decrease anyways the, the stroke size because I still need to see something in the inside of this. Uh, I also can remove that, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a new copy and I'm gonna remove some of the copies in here because there's like a lot. So uh, we won't have that problem. There you go, now it's clean. But who knew this is going to happen? I didn't knew that. Uh, I'm gonna make another copy also because I started to love. So th these are all new results. You didn't saw these in here examples because I didn't knew about that so uh, this is like super freestyle right now you already understand how i did the transform actually uh the zigzag how to make this smooth right now i'm gonna make uh, this thing smooth so you can understand also just click it here and now it is smooth and it looks beautiful uh you can the, increase the size oh wow i love it i love what i see uh so yeah this is how you make it basically um Still got a little bit of problems with uh, these. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go back to the transform and so yeah, there you go, 20 minus 28. Uh, now this looks like a shell, I think. It's like more, but you can do incredible things, man. You can do incredible things with these. I just, my mind is uh, right now is, is, is going wild with ideas, so um, I'm gonna share those to you, okay? I'm gonna decrease the size. No. What I want, like, I want to decrease the number of this one. No, no, no. So it's not good. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is what I wanted to do, like decrease the number of the waves and, uh, you know, make a perfect shell. But uh, that didn't work out that way. Um, but I'm still curious how to debunk that option. Uh, I still need to think on those uh, right now. I don't know how to do it because everything is moving pretty fast. I need to finish the video. 
Uh, but yeah, this is a shell kind of sort of thing. I'm gonna actually try that option anyways. Gonna go to zigzag, gonna decrease this. No, this actually, and see what happens. See what happens. Go to transform. No, 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 no. We're gonna go here. Mm. <clears throat> it's really fun to just play around, you know, in, in here in this, uh, these, these effect options. What the hell did I just do? Seven. Wow, this thing is getting wild and wild. Oh. So yeah, this is how you do abstract stuff. It is amazing, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know if I did this effect before. I just gonna do another copy because I can do the same actually tutorial. Kind of same, but not the same. Gotta go to object, expand and shift plus X so you can flip it. Yeah, I'm gonna create the same tutorial basically now as I did before. I think this is this was the tutorial. I don't know, I, I just can't remember it anymore. Honestly, I'm doing so much tutorials lately, i just getting lost, dude, like... Uh... But yeah, anyways, this was the one. So, yeah... Um... I had a tutorial sim very similar to this one. On group, on group. Ooh, right, now we got a lot of... Uh... Anchor points going on, and I don't even know what the hell is going on. But anyways, gonna group these and just gonna remove what's under. Just go back. Sweet! Looks impeccable. So yeah, I started from here and ended up in this weird ass situation. Back again. <coughs> I'm... Uh, I wanna do... Uh, this. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna create a new copy, go on this way. And just gonna add the zigzag, go to object. I mean, effects, distort transform zigzag. Smooth. Size. And this should be like more smoother, like in the example was. And right now it doesn't look the same because we have too much stuff going on, but I gotta go back to the transform and decrease the copies because there are like a lot of copies. And yeah, there you go. Angle. <coughs> and yeah. I gonna... 90, go to the 90 with this. I don't even know how the hell I did that. So annoying when you don't know how you do it. But it was something like this, <laughs> that's for sure. That is for sure. I gotta increase this 92. 96. Well, 100, 100 something. No. What happens like this? Wow. All right, so uh, this is kind of it. I don't know what to say about this. It's uh, pretty wild. It's pretty wild. You can do a lot. You can do a lot of distortions, a lot of crazy stuff. This is what I just invented now. I didn't knew about this. Uh, actually, I gotta create a new copy. And uh, increase the size of the stroke. Wow. So, snap. Now it looks like a shell. Oh, I think I did it. And do it again. Because these are like pretty badass. You can see like this looks like a real nice, really nice shell. It looks really organic. It looks natural. And um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's even more uh, prominent, whatever that means. I'm gonna go back to zigzag. That's uh, too much. Wow, it's so cool. This is so cool. I love it. 
So anyways, this is how you kind of uh, achieve these elements and stuff. But uh, yeah, these were the main ideas. The donut, this looks really satisfying. Uh, <clears throat> and here, here are like more thicker lines with a lot more uh, stuff going on. But, uh, you know, you can go wild with it. You can try it out different ways, different solutions, because you, there's a lot, man. Like you can discover a lot of stuff. This was like halfway a discovery sessions anyway. Set this discovery session, anyways. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos also. And as always, have a good one. Bye bye.